I have been waiting for this one. My favorite engine of all time. Oh, did I break it? This train set is over 15 feet long with all eight passenger cars. You can see the difference in the gray tones between the MTH model and the Lionel Legacy. I tried to do a train race. I couldn't make it work. Now, before I play all three whistles, remember to listen to all of them before you pick the one that you think is the best. Did I mention this is my favorite train? Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. It is here. The Lionel 20th Century Limited, featuring none other than my favorite engine of all time, the Dreyfus Hudson. This is one of the most iconic and anticipated sets that Lionel released this year. And I'm not just saying this because it's my favorite train. There has been lots of talk about this set, especially the engine. Lots of talk. We're about to look at this entire train set right now in this video. The 20th Century Limited is now departing. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. The New York Central 20th Century Limited is considered to be one of the greatest passenger trains of all time, and certainly the greatest passenger train to ever exist in the United States. This famous train operated from 1902 to 1967 and connected passengers from New York to Chicago via the famous water level route. You know, a nice comfy ride. Plus the train boasted a ton of private rooms so you could catch up on some sleep during the ride. This train primarily catered to business and upper-class citizens of the time, which means it was way too fancy for me. I still wish I could have seen it, though. I would have just been standing there watching it pull out of the station. I can barely ride the Amtrak Acela. The New York Central laid out this fancy red carpet next to the passenger train, so when you were boarding it, you really felt the sense of importance and experience. Different times. This Art Deco model we are seeing is based on the 1938 train set, 85 years ago. This version of the 20th Century Limited is one of the most recognizable and famous iterations of this train. The New York Central Hudson has always had this special place in O-Gage because it was the favorite locomotive of Joshua Lionel Cowan, the founder of Lionel Trains. The first scale Lionel engine to ever be made was based on a New York Central Hudson. So that says a lot. The Hudson has carried this long tradition with O-Gagers as being one of the most famous engines. The J-Class Hudson style locomotive is synonymous with the New York Central, and it shared a long history with that railroad. 10 Hudsons would be selected for the streamlining by the famous Henry Dreyfus. These Hudsons would then be better known as J3A Super Hudsons. The Super Hudson, how cool is that name? This Hudson, along with the redesigned lightweight passenger cars, was designed for one thing, high-speed luxury passenger service. The Hudson performed exceptionally well in high speeds, but the engine struggled a bit at lower speeds, which would eventually cause it to be replaced by engines like the Mohawk and the Niagara. I think some of the major appeal of the Hudson, at least for me, is that despite its historical impact on railroad history, none of these Hudsons exist today. Every single one was scrapped. Hey, I'll make you a deal. If this channel gets to 200 million subscribers, I will make sure that a New York Central Hudson replica is built. <laughs> Dream on, RBP. <sighs> the New York Central shared a rivalry with the Pennsylvania Railroad. It would have been something to see the Pennsylvania Railroad and the New York Central racing alongside each other 
I mean, could you imagine what that would sound like or look like? Two of the most iconic passenger trains of all time racing to Chicago. Are you team PRR or team New York Central? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I tried to do a train race between my TMCC Pennsylvania Railroad T1 locomotive and the new Legacy Dreyfus, but I couldn't make it work because I have two separate protocols. Check out these failed attempts. I don't know how I'm going to make this work. The T1 wanted to take off like a rocket because it's TMCC. But the Legacy Dreyfus was like really smooth starting, so there was just no way. Nope. Reset. This time I switched up the momentum setting so that they're both going to be really responsive. Maybe this fixes it. We'll try it. Might have to try conventional control, I don't know. Unplug the legacy base. Now we're in the Wild West. I'm gonna set these at around 16 volts for the race. I'm gonna use my direction buttons and try that. Hey, we tried. Here they come though. That wasn't so bad, maybe. I don't know. Let's look at this train set. Starting with the engine, this model has a much lighter shade of gray than we've seen on the other Dreyfus Hudson models, Lionel and MTH. Not sure if this was intended or accidental, but it definitely stirred up conversation across the O-Gage community. Forums and social media, it was a pretty intense three days. Remember, I don't paint these trains, I just run them. You can see the color differences a little more clearly when I place this new Lionel Legacy Dreyfus next to this MTH Premier. So you can see what I'm talking about with the shades of gray being different between the two. Even the MTH Premier version that you're seeing is one of at least two variations that MTH made. This is the Proto 2 version, which is a little bit older. And they also made a version in Proto 3, which has more of a brownish tint to it. Really pretty engine. I don't have one of those. Should probably get one of those. Lionel offered several different variations of the Dreyfus Hudson. I chose the 5252 due to the skull and wheels and the tender. The wheels make a huge difference on this engine when you compare them to more of the traditional looking wheels that we see on most of the steam locomotives I run on the channel. Very iconic New York Central look here. This model is equipped with Lionel's legacy control system, so it has all of the usual cool stuff in it. Speed control, fan driven smoke, smoke and whistle, and all kinds of sound effects. This engine is equipped with five whistle choices. The first three are specific to the New York Central, so we're going to have to listen to all three, and you have to let me know which one you like the best, or which one you think is more prototypical to this locomotive. Let's check out these three whistles I was talking about, and you tell me which one you think is the most appropriate for the Dreyfus Hudson. Now I always forget to show people the bell. So here's the bell. Before I play all three whistles, remember to listen to all of them 
before you pick the one that you think is the best. Number one. That's the default whistle on this legacy engine. Number two. Much deeper tone. And number three should sound pretty familiar if you've heard the Legacy, Niagara, or some of the other New York Central engines. So I'll let you hear them one more time. Option one. Option two. And option three. Leave me a comment. Which one fits the engine the best? Let's not forget about these amazing passenger cars. This set includes eight total passenger cars. Now you have to buy them in packs. There's a four pack, an add-on two pack, and a station sounds diner, which really brings this train to life. This train set is over 15 feet long with all eight passenger cars, which makes it one of the longest trains in my collection. The station car set also includes one of my favorite features, and it's pretty funny, at least to me, and that is the journey of Timmy. Timmy is this mystical character that you can summon using the sequence control, and I'll show you how to do that right now. For the station car sounds demonstration, I'm gonna be using Lionel's sequence control mode. When you've programmed your setup as a train, you press and hold the aux one key to activate sequence control. Sequence control is a really cool feature. As you start slowing the train down, when you're approaching the end of the journey, there's automatic dialogue sequences that kick in, and this prepares us for the arrival sequence. Such a touching story.
I hope you enjoyed checking out this Lionel New York Central 20th Century Limited set as much as I enjoyed running it for you here on the channel. Let me know, what did you think of the set? As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris, and this is RBP Trains. We'll see you next time.